Romans 8 26 likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmity for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and he that such as the heart knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit because he make intercession for the saints according to the will of God the spirit itself maketh intercession for us one of the things we saw in that scripture is another kind of ministry being introduced but the umpire of that ministry the Bible said is the spirit itself and I studied the Trinity and I realized that in the council of hell in the council of God the Father the Son and the Spirit both the Son and both the Spirit are all intercessors is that true? go with me to the book of Romans 8 34 so who is he that condemned it is Christ that died yea rather that is risen again who is he even at the right hand of God who also make intercession for us I went for that to let us understand that what shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation distress persecution famine nakedness perils but the prime call there is that the reason why we are safe and we remain safe and we have the privilege of the token of salvation is because Christ make intercession for us the intercession of Christ Jesus is efficacious in heaven the ministry of intercession of the spirit is efficacious and advantageous on the earth Christ Jesus as part of that council of God one among the trinity ensure that you and I are still in the heart of the father in heaven by making intercession for us but upon the face of the earth for us to be able to maintain accurate balance alignment advantage with heaven there is another personality that is responsible for ensuring that that connectivity remains there and how he does that is through a mechanism of intercession again it would have been easy to understand the intercessory ministry of Jesus Christ in heaven because heaven is for overcomers and heaven is a place where only those that overcome can go but upon the face of the earth mankind are laden with all kinds of infirmity and because of the nature of the infirmity of mankind it is almost impossible for mankind to be able to ensure that they maintain perpetual connectivity alignment to what God is doing in heaven as a result of that how God achieved that is to ensure that his spirit help that our inability to relate with God through a mechanism referred to as intercession the need for the ministry of intercession is not necessarily to make a believer become a man of God is for him to come to a point where his infirmities are helped God knew that mankind has the tendency and the capacity to rebel against God God knew that mankind does not have the will to be able to do the counsel of God on the earth so a system was introduced to help that deficiency of mankind and that system was the system of intercession and paraventure a believer does not subscribe to that nature of my ministry the challenge is that he may be a Christian but yet again there will be so much infirmity laden in him that he cannot be able to understand 